It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back guys. The Great War has been released. I thought I'd start a brand new series to try and make the Central Powers the winner. So, we're going to play as the Ottoman Empire. They start out uh, with Faith in Allah as a national spirit, which gives a little bit more organization. And you lose support for communism. Cool. Alright, Ottoman Empire on regular difficulty. Let's go. Okay. I'm going to set up our construction and research to begin with. So, basic hand tools, extra 1% efficiency. Very, very good. Uh, we're going to go for extra research. And also, artillery will be good. Doctrines would be very good. I think it's going to be really important that we get our navy sorted out. But it does look like our navy is as, as advanced as it's going to get right now. Yeah, it is. Okay, in that case, then we'll uh, focus on artillery. Artillery infantry is going to be priority number one. Actually, do I want early basic tank? Ooh. So what is the requirements for tanks? So that just, is that just a, yeah it is, so it's just a tank you research before you get tank. Right, okay, now we'll stick with what we've got then. A few more factories, we'll worry about those when we need them. Uh, production, guns primarily, that's all fine to me. Pump out some more destroyers. No, in fact, no, we're gonna go for submarines. And then add them to the main navy. We could produce quite a few of those. Ooh, only one a year? Oh, it's because we don't have the steel. We'll get some steel imports. Yeah, we'll get the steel imports. Uh, political effort. Okay, so there's a few options here. I think we're gonna focus on industry to begin with, just to give an industry up to a more, kind of, more modern level. Focus on reinforcements. Okay, we need steel. We're going to go for steel primarily. And then we'll branch out from there. No template for field artillery and horse drive. That's okay, because we need a few of those anyway, because we'll, we'll transition out anyhow. So what? We've got 40 infantries. We've got six Gandamarie. Gandamarie? And cavalries, four of those. You know what? I don't like those at all. Let's make them all the same. Here we go. Perfect. Alright, okay. So, we're going to split off the army into two. This is going to be our primary force that can defend their mainland. And then the rest are going to be based in Libya. Does that seem like a good idea? I think so. Any other spare divisions that I'm not aware of? Nope, that's good. Alright, let's go max speed. Alright, so we have an option now to go for a hard difficulty. So, make it easier, extra in entrenchment, less supply consumption, division recovery. Or, we lose manpower, we lose entrenchment, we lose planning, we lose production efficiency cap, production growth. Tonight, we dine in hell. Ha ho. Ha ho? Ha ho? Oh ho, oh ho. Alright, so where is our navy? Alright, this is our navy, and we've got an old guard. Nope, we're not having him then. Nope. Alright, we'll put him on escort. Yeah, escort will be fine. Alright, max speed, let's go. We do have an option for a political advisor too. I think we're gonna go for the war industrialist. Yep. Pump out those factories. So, rebellion against our great armed empire is a border war in Yemen. It's here. I don't really know what this does. Oh, actually, maybe I'm wrong. Let me just stop for a second. If you hover over it, it gives you more information. Our military strength is zero. Military strength ratio is in favor of 50%. We'll lose at 80% or higher and we'll... Okay. Move divisions into this border conflict states in order to increase the, the military strength ratio and reduce border conflict attrition. Oh, okay. Wow, okay, that's a new mechanic. All right. 
The union is formed. South Africa is a country. Ooh. We're behind on only a little bit of oil, aluminium, and wood. I'm, I'm okay with that. We're pumping out eight subs a year. Eight and a half subs. Perfect. So one of the things that's going to be important for the central powers is that we make our... We make our forces relatively strong, because otherwise we're going to get beaten up. And another border conflict has occurred, which is here. Let's cover these two states here. Remove a few of these, actually, because we don't need to cover all of that. And that'll be fine. Perfect. Okay. Alright. So. Our military strength in there. Their strength is zero. So that's not looking likely they're going to win that, is it? Our strength is zero. It's not zero. So these guys are only based in Libya, aren't they? Yep. Okay, we've in we've introduced that. We can't do that until the 1st of January. Ah, right, okay. So it does appear there's some kind of restrictions on how quick we can work down the, the focus tree. Okay, so it's kind of almost like the focus tree has become more research orientated, as if it's only limitations of how far you can push down. All right, fair enough. Uh, we get more national unity and political power. Appease the Balkans. Or anti-Serbian policy. Anti-British. Prepare for war. Join the Central. Join the Entente. Okay. So these are all kind of ways to get Cassus bellies and boost relations and whatnot. Appease the Balkans. Reorganize the Albanian sovereignty. Becomes the controller of Albania. Release Albania. Why would I want to do that? All right, we'll go for this one because this looks political focused. I'm not sure if this is a historical. Well, we'll see. I don't know. I feel like I want to go historical to begin with, but we might branch out from somewhere else and do something different. We'll see. We'll see. Have we got cause anywhere? Japan, Korea, annexation treaty. Goodbye, Japan. Hello, South South Africa, and hello and goodbye, Korea. Rip. So this is actually kind of interesting because it starts you off in a scenario where you've kind of got to split your forces, haven't you? So our current military strength is 76. The military strength in this area, their military strength, is zero. Okay. So we're keeping them suppressed, which is good news. So is an option for more proficiency cap, which is going to be good because we've got to catch up with the, the cap that we've got right now, which is pretty bad. So our production right now is awful. So, heavy industry, oh, okay, this, this is new, this is medicine, so it's in infantry recovery rate, and supply consumption reduction, okay. We need wood, what do we need wood for? Oh, it's for producing guns, right. I feel like we need to have a focus on supply equipment as well. We need al aluminium. Okay, support the Young Turks gains a change of popularity of authoritarian. Authoritarian. I'll get that right one day. Or contest the Young Turks revolt. Abolish the constitution. Military youth. This is fascism, this isn't it. Oppress the minorities. Ooh. Pan Islamism. A world car wide caliphate. Change of popularity of fascism by 55%. Wow, that's huge. Um, okay, so I think we should go for the reforms, I suppose. Liberty ethos is moving me towards democracy and bureaucracy is keeping the status quo, I'm assuming. Why would I want to release Lebanon? Free elections, popularity. A lot of these don't look very appealing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really want to do any of these. So other than like having a faction called the Caliphate, it doesn't really do anything, does it? 
the Islamic party becomes the ruling party, public elections will be held. So it's still democratic, but it's like Islamic, like Islamic Republic. So it becomes an Islamic Republic, doesn't it? Oh, I see. So this is like, it's not fascism as such. I guess it is, because it's... I guess, I guess in this game, Islamic Republic is fascism. Okay. Um, we'll go for a few of these that don't really lead anywhere. Develop the Empire? Well, that counts cool. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, crush the Arab revolts. All right, we'll work on that in a bit. All right, we've got an option to develop again. Uh, we've already on limited exports. Portugal becomes a republic. Okay. Military theorist, army experience. Yes, I love that one. It's a good one. All right, I think we want to import some aluminiums. Yeah, let's do that. Got some artillery too. It feels right now we're working on a lot of kind of side technologies, just things on the side. Things that I suppose are useful still, but I don't know. They're not kind of tech based, they're all, sorry, they're not army based, they're all kind of like civics and stuff, aren't they? Revolution in Mexico. Assert the position in the Middle East. Alright. Defend the house of Rashid. Crush the Al-Shaud Al clan. Gain a Gol Gol of the Emirate of Najid. Annex. Befriend Afghanistan. Anzi Persian. Befriend Persia. Uh, infrastructure. Crush the rebels. Fight. Removes puppet of Najad. Gains war gold to annex them. Alright, so they're our puppet right now, are they? I didn't know that. I kind of like some of these. I get the option to annex stuff. I get to expand my empire, boys. So they are puppet. No, they're not. Oh, these are. Hijaz. Alright, I think we'll do that, actually. We'll, uh, we'll see if we can annex them. Alright, so we have an option for some more political power. Let me slow down the game. There's so much going on. Um, no. Industrial research, tech reduction, infantry gear, aircraft, naval. This is a coastal defense fleet designer. Production cost, so it's like making everything really cheap. But, so this is only going to be a priority if we have a lot of land to cover and we don't. We just have a little colony in Libya and a little bits of land in Saudi Arabia, don't we? So... This is not actually going to be that useful, so I think we'd be better off going for that one, wouldn't we? But yet again, we're not researching anything to do with tech, so it's kind of pointless, so I don't know why I'd do that. Um, none of these feel like they really jump out at me. Guess we're going for the infantry, I suppose. Alright, I realise we've not assigned any kind of leaders, haven't we? This guy is really good. And this guy will be a general. Desert Fox, but he's an old guard. Boo! Now we'll go for this guy. Mehmed Esid Pasa. Alright, okay, so we're still a little bit behind on production. What are we behind on? Supply equipment, which I thought we would be. So we need aluminium, don't we? You know, now I think about it, let's just focus really heavily on the aluminium. On the uh, supply equipment, let's do that now. Uh, aluminium from America, nice. Heavy industry one is done. That's too far ahead. Supply consumption, infantry recovery. I suppose that's nice. Resource gather rate and trenches level ten. Construction speed, forts, anti-air. I think I'll go for this because it's extra resource efficiency, which should be useful because then we can we don't have to import as much. It'll make a slight difference, but in the long run, it'll definitely help us. Alright, so what's going on here? So I don't know when these border conflicts end. So it says our military strength is 153, theirs is 0. Military strength ratio is 100%. Okay. So I'm guessing those territories are trying to break away, that's why they appear, I'm assuming. Improved hand tools is done. Uh, reduce. Can go for 1910 as well. We can get all these. Um, air support, 
tank variants. It's kind of a weird one to go for that. Tank variants? Ah, technically armoured cars are, are tanks, aren't they? So, extra breakthrough for tanks. Not really our main priority right now. Alright, so we get the option to annex... The Emirate of Nijad. Cl crap. Cr the Crush the Al Shaud clan. Emirate of Najid becomes a war goal. Najid? Najad? Is this guy? How strong are you? Three divisions. I have you now. Alright, so I think we should pull off some of these divisions, assign them to a general, and put them on orders to attack. This should be a really brief war, anywho. What I'd like to do is, if when we've got all our divisions at max strength, which is going to be a wee while, um, then what we'll do is uh, we'll start training our troops, because right now they're all at level 1, so we need them at least level 2. Resource gain efficiency, 5%. Yes. It feels kind of good, this, because I feel like I'm building my economy up, all preparing myself for war. It feels pretty good. Alright, you guys think you can go immediately? In fact, what we'll do is we'll train you guys, because you guys are going to be in the conflict zone very, very soon, so... It's, um... It's an importance that we get you guys all ready to go. So these guys are defending here, that's good. Have we got any planes? I've never checked that. There is no air force for the Ottomans. Are they have access to the coast? Yeah, they do. Do they have any boats? That's the question. No, they don't. The Battle of Disku. The Albanians scored an upsetting victory over the Turkish forces. Did they? Did they? I don't think so. We don't have control of this southern border, which is upsetting me a little bit. Maybe we should break these guys off. And go here and here. For some really bizarre reason... They're not holding troops on this southern area. Spain has fled Spain to Mexico. Oh, okay, the Mexican Civil War, yeah, yeah. A war goal against Najad, yes. Crush the Al Shroud clan. Uh, annex becomes the owner and controller of Jabal Shamar. I have no idea what that is. Let's have a look. Oh, it's this kingdom. All right, okay. And they've got one division. Cool. All right, we're going to declare war. Go. Oh, shit, I just realized they're exercising. Exercise. Go. Attack. Go, go, go. Organization's low, but I don't care, guys. Ooh, supply issues. All right, we've met their troops already. Terrain disadvantage, experience disadvantage, but their troops are awfully bad as well. Now think about it, we can probably get away with not fighting them, we can probably just go around them. I think we've over... I think we've over committed to this show now, think about it, let's pull a few troops out. Yeah, we've com over committed just a little bit too bit here. What's the resources like? We need more steel. I feel like I want to make my divisions a little bit bigger as well. Right now they're a bit small so they don't hit hard enough. I think what we're probably going to have to do is encircle this division too. Taking a lot of casualties too. The attrition is brutal. Alright, we're going to have to stop the aggressive focus and plan another extra attack. We've got these guys here. Yeah, we've got this guy. Let's have a look. So the damage they're doing is six. We're doing eight, so we're a little bit better than that. The entrenchment's making a huge difference, though. Okay, mining, that's too far ahead. Uh, we can work on submarine attack, I suppose. We are making a lot of subs, so it'd be nice to boost them a little bit more. Manchu Picchu has been discovered, and we've annexed our northern areas. Have we got any extra divisions from that? No, we have not. Befriend Afghanistan, befriend Persia. None of these really do help us in the long run, other than if we, if we wanted to make our own faction, I guess this would be kind of cool, but otherwise we'll make some roads. What's going on here? How come we're not winning? 
All right, we are, no, we are kind of we are winning. What's going on here? Is it because our organization is going down a lot quicker? I think it might be. All right, okay, let's stop for a second. Oh wow, this is actually kind of cool. I'm liking this because it actually feels like I'm like really weak. And that feels like there's a, a lot of area to improve upon. So what we're doing wrong here? So which supply equipment we still need? We're still supplying our. The issue is that we're still behind in our own supplies for our own forces. That's the big issue. Can we surround them? We should be able to. Yeah, surround them. We'll cut off their exports, imports, and whatnot. We've got a relatively decent army, so a uh, decent navy in comparison, so we can. Uh, Provoked by the increasing power of France of the state, Moroccan citizens. Oh, okay, the Banax Morocco, okay. How are we doing for supplies? A lot better. It's because we control all this state now, so I think we can probably pull off a few more troops. These guys are defending this territory. Sure, so let's bring these guys in here to help out. Ooh, these guys don't have any organization. Let's kill them off then. Cool, cool. Extra resources for oil and resource efficiency. How much oil is around here? Is there any oil? There are no resources in the Middle East. Are you kidding me? They're all in Europe, aren't they? There's none now. There's, a, there's a, quite a lot of oil in Iran. There's no resources anywhere in Afghanistan as well. Hmm, interesting. Okay, um... Work on some more production. I guess maybe... Industry? Attrition's gonna be useful too. The Mona Lisa has been stolen. Okay, develop the empire is finished. So we can't go for the next one. The next one requires after 1912. Improve relations with Najad, crush the rebels, release Najad, reignite Yemen and Zia, support the revolts of Libya. Does not exist at war with Italy, support the rebels in Libya. So that's if the case if I've lost Libya. So let's just presume we don't lose Libya. Um, all right, okay. I don't really want to do any of this. I guess we could go for some of the equipment. We don't really want to research though, because, oh, here we go, we can go for this. So let's go for some extra research. This is 1912. Oh, okay, it looks like they're all, most of them look like they're all lined up with this different date. So these are all like 1912 techs. Okay, well, this gives a military factory. So maybe we do want to support, support the Young Turks. All right, let's go for these three, because we need the construction for sure. These guys are going to attack onto their capital. It feels like we're taking like a horrendously bad casualties too. All right, so okay, so the Chinese civil wars kicked off. Infantry on there, as well as support artillery. This will give our infantry a lot more kick to them. The Z High Revolution. Communication system. I feel like just researching these because eventually we will take advantage of them, but as of right now, not so much. Field hospitals, logistics, no, no, no. Okay, so we do need the first armored car before we can start researching tanks, so probably should just research that now to get it out of the way. Let's do it. Ooh, we're a bit behind on supply as well. Um, oh god, what's going on? It must be because the difficulty is a lot higher. We've uh, overextended ourselves just a wee bit. What are we doing now? Is this making a difference? Oh, it's because we've changed the template, isn't it? I've realized what we've done. Okay, that makes sense. Take a four of those off. Go, go, go. Torpedo propulsion. So we've fully surrounded them here. We've pocketed them. Well, we've not quite pocketed them because they've still got production inside of the capital. So go back here. The fleet doesn't really get any benefit from that scenario. You guys, actually, we'll do it. Now stop, attack. Yeah, yeah, there we go. They're going to attack, but they're going to lose initially. Let's 
Oh my goodness, we're making gains, but they're so costly. I'm scared we're going to lose divisions here. <clears throat> we should probably put those on a priority, shouldn't we, as well? Because these are the ones that are fighting. <clears throat> Field artillery, how are they doing? We need loads of them. Absolutely loads of them. Okay, the Italian invasion of Libya. The ultimatum was presented to the Ottoman government through the Austrian intermediation. intermediation. Alright, so they've joined the war. What? Um, okay. Military factory, sure. So... The event just causes troops to land on top of our heads instantly. Ouch. We've got a lot of troops based here as well. So... We go here. Do we... I guess it's best if we try and take out Trebrook, I suppose. Yeah, let's do that. There's divisions here. Alright, these ones should be assigned to this front, shouldn't they? God, I'm glad I based a lot of troops on this front now, damn. Alright, here I go. So I wonder if there's going to be more events that's going to cause them to reappear. How big is the Italian fleet? Very, very big. They're going to put up a fight. All right, here we go. So 36 ships versus 40. Ooh, I'm clenching. This could be a disaster. There's only skill one, though. 11 big ships, though. They've got into front line a lot quicker. Wow, they're losing so many destroyers. We're losing a few of our destroyers, too. Uh, we've lost two light cruisers and some destroyers there. There goes all our destroyers. Here's the big ships engaging now, taking a lot of damage. Okay, dangerous invasion here. Ooh. Alright, can you guys finish this off and do this? Come on, I believe in you. Surrounded. Doing way doing about 50% more damage than them. No, not quite 50%, but still a nice amount. Be fighting there for a wee while. We're not winning here. We're not winning. Can't run away, I don't think. No, we can. No, we can. Um, I'll engage here. When we clear out the west, then we can move east. Is there any resources there that we need? No, Libya is just a bit of land, isn't it? Alright, what's going on? We've lost two battleships. They've lost nine. It's looking like we're losing this now. The submarines don't seem to be doing much, do they? Yeah, we're taking some huge losses now. A lot of the big battle cruisers are getting some heavy damage to them now, the dreadnoughts. It's actually really nice to see a big naval battle, you know, because usually they always, the ships usually back off, like, almost instantly. Alright, so it did say that we won that. So we lost three, I guess, battle cruisers, battleships, dreadnoughts. We lost ten destroyers, three cruisers, eight subs, and they lost 21. I think, oh god, the lead was so small, though. I wouldn't really call that a victory. <laughs> I don't know. That wasn't quite a victory in my mind, but okay. Okay. Alright. The advantage seems pretty decent. The attack bonus is pretty damn good. It does feel like the planning is a lot harder now because of the new adjustments that have been made. Oh, guys, please abort. Abort. Abandon ship. Abandon ship. Repair now. Did I change their orders? I think I did. That's probably why they had, they stopped. 
The Republic of China has won the Civil War. Alright, you guys have won. Move back. So, that was kind of undecisive, wasn't it? I mean, they lost a lot of ships, we lost a lot of ships. Hmm. Still, it's going to take us a very, very, very long time to recover from that. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and subscribe. And if you've got any input, I'd like your input. Drop us a comment below. Feedback likes feedback. And as always, guys, thank you so much for the feedback, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, wow, the South Pole's been reached.